You're watching the Seafood News Weekly video brought to you by Comtel, which will be receiving a complete redesign in 2020. Subscribers who utilize Comtel to track market quotations, analyze trends, and stay on top of key industry news will see a host of new features. Streamlined navigation, customizable dashboards, filtering options, quick access to your favorite reports, and more will make Comtel an even more valuable tool for those impacted by the protein markets. I'm Seafood Market Reporter Lauren Castiglione. And I'm News Assistant Ryan Doyle. In today's top story, Christopher Lischewski, former president and CEO of Bumblebee Foods, was convicted on Tuesday for his role in an antitrust conspiracy to fix prices of canned tuna. The verdict comes after a four-week trial where the jury found Lischewski guilty of fixing prices from November 2010 until December 2013 that affected hundreds of millions of dollars in sales in the United States. The Department of Justice said Lischewski and his co-conspirators, including companies Chicken of the Sea and Starkist, employed measures to conceal their conspiratorial conduct, including meeting at off-site locations using third-party email addresses and discouraging retention of documents concerning the conspiracy. The Department of Justice also said the investigation of collusion in the market for packaged seafood is ongoing. Thanks, Ryan. In other news, Northeast the fishing industry is dealing with the impact of U.S.-China trade war and climate change as species are beginning to relocate in search of colder waters. In an effort to improve the export markets for Northeast seafood suppliers, Food Export USA Northeast launched a trade mission to Dubai. The aim of the mission was to open the door for lobster exports in Dubai, which is a key re-exporter of U.S. seafood products to regions of Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. Food Export also led an event in Spain where Jonah Crab was introduced to top tastemakers in the country. Jonah Crab landings have increased by 650% over the past 15 years and could be a new option for a well-known export market for American seafood. Thanks, Lauren. The Farm Salmon Complex started the month of December with the market heading in different directions for many items. The Canadian whole fish market saw a very weak fall. 10 to 12 West Coast Canadian whole fish, for instance, saw a 52-week low on October 15th. From a historical perspective, December is a very active period for the Farm Salmon Complex. The European whole fish complex is currently mixed with all three origins heading in different directions. The Norwegian and Faroe Island markets adjusted lower this week, while the Scottish market adjusted higher as supplies were reported to be very light. Out of Chile, whole fish were firm but fillets were unsettled and did adjust lower on all sizes. The farm salmon index is currently lower than the past three years, but the 2019 pricing is still slightly higher than the five-year average. As the market heads deeper into December, many market participants anticipate all markets to firm as demand becomes very active. And Finally, a three-part study is underway to better understand life history, stock structure, and distribution of Atlantic halibut along the East Coast. The study is being done by the Northeast Fisheries Science Center and the Cape Cod Fishermen's Alliance with support from a grant developed by the Nature Conservancy. Atlantic halibut was a reliable commercial fishery for nearly three centuries, but today is only commercially viable off of Canadian East Coast. Commercial stocks in Canada appear to be increasing in recent years, and U.S. fishermen targeting other species are seeing more Atlantic halibut and wonder if stocks may be returning to U.S. waters as well. The NFSC is helping with the life history component, especially reproductive biology. The other two parts of the three-part study include a stock structure analysis using genetic samples and a satellite tagging effort to understand halibut habitat use and distribution. And that's the guacamole. Be sure to head over to seafoodnews.com or visit the seafood tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. And don't forget to listen to a new episode of the Seafood News podcast released on SoundCloud and iTunes every Monday. Thanks for watching.